The decision to have genetic testing is a personal choice. In order to help you make this decision, we are going to tell you some important information about genetic testing. Genetic testing and cancer. When you are born, every cell in your body has the same set of genes. Genes come in pairs, one copy from your father and one from your mother. Genes are made of a substance called DNA, which contains carefully spelled out instructions for building the proteins that make your body work. Sometimes the genes are damaged, which changes the way the instructions are spelled. This is called a mutation. Some mutations make it more likely that you may develop certain types of cancer. Cancers caused by inherited gene mutations are called hereditary cancers. In families that have a gene mutation, people who inherit the family gene mutation will often develop the same or related types of cancer at younger ages than usual. When this happens in families, it is called a hereditary cancer syndrome. Not everyone who inherits the mutation will develop cancer. It is possible to test for mutations in genes that cause hereditary cancer syndromes by testing a sample of blood. Testing a family member who has or has had cancer is the best way to start. If we find a gene mutation, we can test other family members for the same mutation. About 10 to 15 percent of advanced pancreas cancer is hereditary. Mutations in different genes can cause pancreas cancer. For instance, pancreas cancer can be caused by a mutation in the BRCA2 gene or by a mutation in another gene. These genes can be tested one at a time, or many genes can be tested at the same time from the same blood sample. Testing many genes at the same time may make it possible to find out the cause of cancer in a family more quickly. This is called multi-gene panel testing and is the kind of genetic testing that we are offering you today. The results of genetic testing may change the options for treating people with pancreas cancer. For example, doctors are studying the use of certain medications, like PARP inhibitors, in the treatment of pancreas cancer. Results you can learn from genetic testing. It is possible to get several different results from a genetic test. You could get a positive test result. This means that we found a mutation in a gene. Having a gene mutation does not mean that a person will develop a certain cancer, but it does make it more likely that a person will develop that cancer. The risks for cancer may differ for different gene mutations. For some mutations, the risks for certain cancers may be very high. For other mutations, the risks may be lower, although still more than the cancer risk of someone who does not have a mutation. We know a lot about the cancer risks linked to some mutations, but we know less about the risks linked to other mutations, although scientists and doctors are learning more with time. People with mutations may be offered special or more frequent cancer screening exams to try to find any developing cancers as early as possible. The exact exams will depend on the gene that is mutated. People with mutations may also be offered certain surgeries or medications that may help make it less likely that they will develop cancer. If you have a mutation, then each of your children and each of your siblings has a 50% or 1 in 2 chance of also having that mutation. If they do, they will be more likely to develop the cancers linked to that mutation. We will discuss the meaning of this mutation for your family members and their medical care. You could also get a negative test result. This means that we did not find a mutation in any of the genes tested. While this is good news, you and your family could still be at increased risk for cancer. This could happen for several reasons. For example, you could have a mutation that we cannot see with the technology we have today. Or, you could have a mutation in a gene that was not included in the genetic test. It is also possible that your test is negative because the cancers in you or your family occurred by chance or because of something in the environment. Finally, 
There may be a gene mutation in other members of your family, but you did not inherit it. You can also get a test result showing that you have a variant of uncertain significance. A variant of uncertain significance means that there is a change in a gene, but we have not yet learned whether this change is harmless or whether it makes it more likely that you will develop cancer. We will tell you if you have a variant of uncertain significance. But we may not be able to tell you whether this means that you are more likely to develop cancer in the future or whether it explains why you developed cancer. Some people may not want to know these uncertain results or may find them upsetting. Risks and Benefits of Genetic Testing You should think about the risks and benefits before having genetic testing. There are no risks of physical harm from genetic testing that are different from getting a standard blood test. Genetic testing can have emotional effects, such as anxiety, especially if we find a gene mutation. If we find a gene mutation, it can also impact your family members. It is important for you to know that the U.S. and some states have laws that do not allow anyone to use your genetic information as a reason to fire you, not give you a job, not give you health insurance, or make the health insurance that you have now cost more. We do not know of any cases where someone's genetic information has been used to discriminate against their family. But we cannot fully guarantee that no one will ever use your genetic test results against you or your family. Also, these laws do not apply to life or disability insurance, or if you are in the military. There are many possible benefits of genetic testing. Genetic test results may change your options for treating cancer now or in the future. The results may tell you how likely you are to get cancer in the future, and may help your family members understand how likely they are to get cancer. The results can help doctors make a personal cancer screening program for you and your family members. The results can also help you and your family members decide about options for reducing your cancer risk, including preventive surgeries. You will now be asked to sign a consent form to allow a blood sample to be used for genetic testing. If you have any questions or would like to speak with a genetic counselor, please ask your doctor to refer you.